Michael Parsons is all over. Keekley led the charge. Luke Keekley, you're the best linebacker on earth. Parsons has it. He is blasted by Parsons. He's alive by Luke Michael Keekley. Parsons unblockable on that play. He's unblockable on a lot of plays. Good night, Parsons again. It's crazy what this kid is doing. Oh, the humanity. Picked off by Luke Keekley exactly where he needed to be. Parsons is eating their offense Ooh. up right now. Wow. And it's scooped up by Keekley. Man. Parsons blasted him. Ouch. I'm Michael Parsons, I play for the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm sitting next to arguably one of the greatest linebackers, Luke Keekley, and I couldn't be more excited to break down some film with him, get to know him a little bit, and just pick his brain, you know? Mike is a guy that, that can kind of do everything. He can line up on the ball, off the ball. He's an exciting player to watch, so I'm going to be uh, interested to see his mentality on pass rush a little bit because that was somewhere that I always struggled, so maybe I'll pick a thing or two up. All right, well, you know, we, we then got everything out of the water. Like, let's just dive in. Check it down 12. Edwards Hilaire back in at running back. They're going to fake an option pitch. Mahomes keeps it and goes down for a big loss back at the 42. See, that's not fair. I want to know what you're supposed to be doing on this play. So right now, what is your job if they? Tell I'm just kind of like playing a run. So oh, but are you on the quarterback or are you the pitch guy? I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> I know that the quarterback's not going to beat me. Okay. So it's kind of like I have played a quarterback and then beat him and throw it, but mm -hmm. I think Mahomes saw that. What I think you do well too is the best thing on these option guys is to play it slow because the slower you play it, the more opportunity you have for your guys to get onto the pitch. Because if you go mm -hmm. jump on Mahomes right now, that ball's out, yeah. and then you don't have some time for support to get there. Yeah, and I'm playing, like you see, like I'm not playing inside Mahomes, I'm playing this outside pad. Mm -hmm. So that way I can still see the ball. And you know, one thing you always gotta do is keep your feet high. Six on the play, clock, Romo straight drop. Bouncing, looking. Fires intercepted. Picked off Carroll under the 30 yard line. Coming near sideline, 15 to the 10 to 5. Luke Keekley <laughs> scores a touchdown and stiff arms Romo for good measure. Now, this is more my speed right here. And it's against my Cowboys. So, what happened was we were in a pressure and, and Romo saw it and he knew what pressure we were running and he checked to this route. And Thomas actually got us out of this pressure. We just played cover two. And this was a route that I love in cover two. Uh, that we always talk about it. We called it charger, so three runs vertical, two runs a sit. So Cole mm -hmm. runs a sit, and then then number one runs that big inside cut dig. It just kind of worked out perfectly for us. It was This was a fun season for us, and we had such a good pass rush this year that playing coverage was so easy. You look at, you look at Romo in the pocket right now, he's people all over him. And you know, playing, playing coverage is so much easier I, when I you got a pass rush. I would never have as many picks as you, though. I don't know, man. I would sacks, picks, they're all they're all good. Right, nah. Like, the way you, like, really read coverages and just play the ball, like, that's a gift, bro. Yeah, it was fun, man. I miss it. That's a horrible play. Just didn't, I didn't make sure I didn't drop it. And you gave him a little stiff arm to say, <laughs> F you, Romo. Empty backfield. Pressure. Heineke is jacked. Down he goes. The ball is loose. It's picked up by Dallas and Armstrong. He's got a convoy. He's going to walk in for the touchdown. So I think what you guys do a good job here is you get a four-man rush. It's empty. Yeah. So everybody's going to have a one-on-one. -on -one one-on-one. They, -on -one. they do a good job of isolating you on that guard. So basically, if, if I'm Dan Quinn and the Cowboys, I'm like, man, Micah, we're going to set you up, and we need you to win with your athleticism. I kind of always hit someone with a – at least a stutter. You kind of always hit him with like a little, like a shimmy. And just try like, to slow him down a little just bit. Just to slow him down. Just to slow him down just for one second and then you trying to burst off. Because like, Sheriff's an all pro guard. Like, I can't really go through him because he's like he's so, oh my God, he's so big. And he's super strong and super athletic. So I had to beat him to a certain point to be able to get by him. So I kind of hit him with a shimmy shimmy. And then from there, once you see daylight, you just got to rip and go. Well, you got him turned. Once you get yeah. these guys turned, man, all you got to do is use your power and speed and get by him because he loses all that strength that he has when he's not, when he's square, he's powerful. When he turns mm -hmm. sideways like that, you just have to run through half a man and then 
He doesn't even see you coming. And that's the thing, the beautiful about pass rush. You don't gotta beat the man, you just gotta beat half the man. That's true. But speed, that's what we always talk about as rushers, is speed, speed sets everything up. And like that's that's exactly what we saw right here with you. Is the speed, the speed aspect of your pass rush is your one of your best attributes. You gotta make a fair speed. You have to. Watch how I won this one. No one even blocked me. Third and three, and here they come. It's Keekly who gets to Manning back at the nine. Oh wow. <laughs> so there's a huge difference between your pass rush wins and mine. There's a there's a huge difference in speed and athleticism between uh, between you and I. I think you have more sacks in your rookie season than I did my whole career. It's How many close. Do you have? I think I'm like 12 or something. You were what, 12 and a half? I was like 13. Well, then I think you definitely had more than I did. Is there a better defensive player this year than Micah Parsons? They have to scheme my sacks up, right? They got to mm -hmm. make sure that I'm not blocked. They got to make sure that I can run clean. Yours, you just go win, so. You really doubt your athleticism. I think 100 different players would think so much different about your athleticism. Yeah. Well, my pass rush skills are poor, so I could, I could learn something from you watching this stuff. Look at that, I clean. Mean, I just have to not miss. When you got an IQ like yours, and you might not have a 4-3 speed, but you play like 4-3. Just try to run around, man. Linebacker's easy. Just run around and get to the ball. This Super Bowl was tough. I believed in you guys. Like, I did too. No one thought you guys would be there. Man. I was so upset when you guys lost. You guys were my favorite team growing up. I appreciate it. Three, two, one, go. This is a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> something that I lost. To. You're trying to, you know, bring the toilet paper like, you try to reel it in. You let the DBs beat you? In this specific game, this isn't a realistic game. Like, <laughs> this was a stupid game. Low key, I think my helmet bigger. You look, you look thrilled. Bro, I'm like so competitive. Bro, and he was cheating? They didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo! So you didn't see that when you were playing? No. That's the dumbest game I've ever had. <laughs> you mad because he beat you? Like, I'm just so, like, mind blown why we're playing a game like this. I won again. Sick. Like I said, he mad. Y'all got any other Not games? <laughs> That's realistic? That is horrible. I'm, I'm glad I saw the film. I'm a little bit worried to see what they put. Oh my gosh, I'm holding the baby. What's going on? Go back to sleep. I got this. Yeah, folks got this. This is for Campbell's, the Campbell's soup. Those were, those babies were, they were fake babies. They looked super real. It was kind of scary, man. I legitimately thought if I dropped one of these babies, they're gonna get hurt, <laughs> but they were fake babies. This is crazy. Tell me about it. You have no idea how hard this is. It was like basically me and the dad were against the mom. I've just been told that you may have some idea how hard this is. It was funny, we had a good time with it. That was a fun one. Man, I'm so happy I got to sit down and talk ball with you, man. Um, thanks for coming in again, and you know, I hope we can chop it up soon and some other time. Absolutely, appreciate you guys tuning in. It's good to uh, sit down with Mike, a great guy that can do just about everything. So uh, it was great to see you, and uh, hopefully this is the first of many Pro Bowls for you. Hopefully, God willing, God willing. <laughs>